More than five years after she first discovered a lump in her right breast, 38-year-old Marissa Maycock's fear was realized. She was diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer. Despite numerous doctor visits over the years, the disease that was slowly eating away at her healthy cells was somehow missed. Now, Maycock is preparing for a modified radical mastectomy, a procedure to remove the entire breast, including skin areola and nipple, as well as the lymph nodes under her right arm. Had we discovered this three years ago, four years ago, it could have been managed a little bit better. We would not be talking about removing of, of a breast. And, you know, I know some people uh, say, well, you know, it's just a breast. Yeah, but it's, it's my breast. <laughs> you know, uh, I've lived with this breast for 38 years. Um, and no, it's not a hand, it's not a foot. Um, and yes, it is cosmetic, but I think um, for, for me, um, you know, we would not be at this drastic measure of having to do as much as we have to do to combat it. Maycock first got the lump in her right breast checked out in 2015, and again in 2016, 2017, and 2018. She said every time she was told the lump was not a cause for concern. She said she went back to the doctor in 2021 after her breast began to change. The cancer cells have been mimicking normal breast tissue cells. And so I seem to not be checking the boxes on what is normal. Though she is still upset about the delayed diagnosis, Maycock says she's trying to focus on conquering her cancer and staying safe in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic as cancer patients are considered at higher risk for worse outcomes from COVID-19. Maycock said while she is nervous about what's to come, prayers have kept her calm, especially the procedure yesterday. Every pinch I felt, <laughs> I started praying. Every time I would feel the pain, I said, and I would just simply say, Lord, help me. You have to help me. You have to help me and get me through this. Maycock will undergo chemotherapy and radiation. But without insurance and already thousands of dollars in the hole, the mother of two children is also facing a financial battle in addition to her medical challenges. Her brothers launched a GoFundMe campaign in an effort to raise $50,000 to help offset medical costs. To contribute to her GoFundMe account, visit GoFundMe.com and search for Team Rissy for the win, Let's Defeat Cancer. Donations can also be made to Delwyn and Marissa Maycock's First Caribbean International Bank account, 201-715-213. Maycock, a wife, mother, daughter, sister, friend, and confidant to so many, says she will soon add an additional title to her name, Conqueror. For the Guardian News Network, I'm Kyle Joaquin.